Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. Today we are going to learn about the difference. What is the difference between the hash map and hash table in a Java? So this is a part of the collection. Both the classes are, are the part of the collection, and we are going to learn now. So what is the exactly difference with a practical thing? Okay. Uh, so first of all, uh, so what is the difference between the hash map and hash table? This term we are going to learn, but before that, we must need to learn about what is meant by the hash map, guys. Okay. So a hash map is nothing but uh, whenever we want to provide the data, whenever we want to store the data into the key value pair, that time hash, type, hash map basically we have to use. So with the help of the hash map, we can able to store the key value pair. We can able to store the data into the key value pair. So hash map provides the basic implementation of the map interface of the Java. It always stored the data into the key value pair. It is always stored the data into the key value pair. So let's try to understand what does it mean exactly. So you can see, let me open my class here and you can see I'm just trying to uh, create over here a hash map object I'm going to create and you can see guys, this is how basically we can able to write down the thing over here uh, 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 and you can see this is the generics I'm using over here. This is an object I'm going to create new and you can see this is an object basically we created. This is how basically I'm going to create the object of the hash map. Once we are creating the object of the hash map, always remember we have to use what method we have to use. We have to use the put method to add data into the hash map. So suppose first one is I'm using the integer over here. So I'm just going to add a value over here one comma and you can see this is the value I'm going to add. Uh, suppose I'm going to add a value Ganesh. Okay. Uh, semicolon. Okay. Another value I'm going to add hash map dot put and you can see guys second. You can see. This is how basically we can able to add the data over here. This is how basically we can able to add the data of the hash map. And this is how basically we can able to create an object of the hash map. Okay. Uh, so uh, once this is done, then, uh, the, then the next point I would like to tell you to access the value in hash map, you must need to know its key. So guys, whenever if you want to access the value, one by value, one by one value you want to access. So we must need to know of the key. So how basically we can able to access the value. Uh, suppose let me let me add a few more values of the hash map. Let me quickly add the values guys over here. Suppose three four values I'm going to add over here. This is a third. This is a fourth. This is a fifth. And you can see I'm 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 going to add the name over here. Automation Studio Test. Okay, you can see these are the five values basically I'm going to add. And now. Uh, if I want to fetch the one of uh, any any one value, so simple I can able to fetch guys with the help of the get method. So system dot out dot println, and I'm going to use the hash map dot get method. We can able to use and suppose uh, always remember uh, we need to provide the key over here. Suppose if I'm using the uh, key first, so I will get the print the data over here. The name is a uh, what what data is going to print guys here? The the data is going to print like Ganesh is going to print over here. This is how basically one by one value basically we can able to print. Now if uh, if if I want to if I want to if I want to print the all 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 data over here all values suppose I want to print so simple what we have to use guys I must need to use the for each loop for it okay what I need to use for each loop for it suppose I'm going to use uh, uh, like entry set over here entry set I'm going to use dot okay and here I'm going to create an object over here. And uh, here, uh, once, once this is done, I'm going to use what guys hash map dot entry set. Okay, this is the method basically I'm going to use. And you can see one by one, I'm going to print the data over here. Entry dot gate key and plus a double code. Here you can see entry uh, plus symbol I'm going to use entry dot gate value I'm going to use. Okay, this is how basically one by one value I'm going to add over here. Okay, if I'm going to run my program, you can see guys what exactly happened. I can able to face the all value one by one over here on the console. You can see this is how basically we can able to add the data into the hash map and we can able to face the data of the hash map. So we can even even we can able to if if we if we are printing instead of this term, if if you would like to what guys if you would like to uh, print the hash map object, sir, then then you might have question can we able to print the hash map object? The answer is yes, guys. You can see suppose if I'm printing the hash map object. Simple, you will get the data over here. You can see what 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 you will get. You will get the data over here and here. Okay, let me quickly run this program and you can see uh, you will get the data over here and you can see 
this is how the data you will get but this is an this is an array basically we have you whatever data you will get you will get the data inside the array but whenever you want to face the value one by one value you want to face that time for each loop basically you have to use so this is the point i want to tell you about a hash map this is the basic behavior of the hash map now let's discuss about uh, about the other capabilities of the hash map can we able to store the heterogeneous value in the hash map the answer is yes guys we can able to store it. so what exactly i'm trying to do simple i'm going to add over here on the six index i'm going to add over here what exactly i'm going to add suppose 100.5 float value i'm going to add over here okay then hash map dot put value i'm going to add on the seventh index i'm going to add over here uh, like suppose i'm going to add the character over here so you can see this is how the data basically i'm getting i'm going to add over here but immediately we are getting a compilation error now what is the reason behind the compilation error because of guys here we use the what we use a generic terms basically we use so if i'm going to remove the generic terms over here you can see guys immediately all compilation error is gone and you can able to add the heterogeneous data as well in a hash map this is a normal behavior of the hash map basically okay so you can easily add the heterogeneous data as well and if i'm going to print the hash map object you can see guys that the all data is going to add successfully in the hash map it means hash map also support the heterogeneous data in a in a value pair we can say that this one is a key and this one is a value so on the value places you can able to add the data okay once this is done now uh, what i would like to tell you guys can be hash map uh, is this hash map your hash map contain the duplicate value the answer is no guys your hash map is not containing the duplicate value let me let me show you that part suppose i am just using the uh, hash map can contain the duplicate value i am really sorry i am i'm again amending my sentence hash map can contain the duplicate value you can see guys if i am going to write down this sums over here you can see uh, again i am going to write down for each loop over here uh, uh, entry okay entry entry i'm going to use colon uh what exactly i'm trying to do uh hash map dot entry set i'm going to use and you can see guys system dot out dot println uh entry dot get key plus uh e dot uh what guys uh gate value i'm going to use over here so this is how basically data i'm going to fetch over here if i'm going to run my program you can see guys what exactly happened over here you can see my data is going to print over here successfully on the console but here you can see on the first index the same value we have and on you can see uh, on the first index we have a same value and six number index we have a same value so the point i want to tell you guys yes we can able to store the duplicate value in a hash map but you cannot able to store the duplicate key so suppose if i'm trying to add the duplicate key over here what what key i'm trying to add suppose on the first index again i'm going to add over here another name let's take an example of the another name like selenium selenium okay you can see this is an another value is different but key is duplicate over here but always be remember guys you cannot able to store the duplicate key basically and your key is override key is same but the new value will be overridden on the what guys new value will be overridden on the existing key okay you can see new value will be overridden on the existing value so on the first index we have a ganesh but again you can see the selenium is overridden over here so this is what exactly i want to tell you guys over here which which is very very important term okay which is very very important term i want to tell you so this is this is the thing i want to tell you about like hash map can contain the duplicate value but hash map doesn't contain the what guys when hash map doesn't contain the duplicate key basically so apart from it is this hash map contain the duplicate uh, the does hash map contain the null value the answer is yes guys hash map contain the null value as well let me show you that part as well here you can see if i'm trying to add over here null value your hash map can contain the null value as well you can see you can able to add you can able to add the null value as well you can able to add the null value as well so this is how basically we can able to add the thing you can able to add the null value as well can we able to add the duplicate null value the answer is yes uh, for sure you can able to add the duplicate null value as well you can see if i'm going to run my program you can see on the on the bottom you can see the null value basically on the ninth index you can see guys the null value is going to add over here in the both the thing is the null value is add over here so it means we can able to contain the null value as well 
and then last point i would like to tell you your hash map always maintain the insertion order as well so this is what exactly i want to tell you about the hash map now let's discuss about what guys let's discuss about the hash table basically so what is mean by the hash table basically we have okay so your hash table is nothing but this is also basically used to store the data in a key value pair now what is the difference between the hash map and hash table guys very simple difference we have hash table is exactly same as a hash map the different here is difference here is here is guys hash table come from the c++ language this is a legacy class basically we have and whatever methods available in a hash table all method are synchronized synchronized and whatever methods are available in hash map all method are unsynchronized this is the one difference basically this is this is the difference basically we have then another difference i would like to tell you the initial default capacity of the hash table is 11 so initial default capacity of the hash table is 11 so it is exactly same as a hash map but this hash table is a synchronized okay this hash table is what guys synchronized basically we are having uh, your okay. hash table also store the data into the key value pair your hash table also store the data in a key value pair this is the point i want to tell you guys now let me show you how to how to store the data in a hash table you can see guys simple whatever hash map object basically i created i am just converting this hash table a uh, hash map here in a where guys in a hash table so you can see only this term i'm i'm changing over here and i am going to change the object name here as well okay and you can see guys uh, so this is how basically we can able to add the data you can see all methods are always same uh, almost same over here only the difference over here is guys hash table methods are synchronized and hash table uh, hash table method are uh, synchronized and hash map methods are non synchronous this is a difference basically we are having guys okay then then we learn about what guys we learn about the other thing what other thing basically we learn uh, we learn about the hash map so whatever methods we have in a hash map all methods are on non synchronous we have now uh, now what we have to do guys let me quickly run this program and based on that you will get an idea like uh, how basically so hash table is almost same basically we have then then if hash map is also hash table is also same hash table is hash table is come from basically dictionary uh, dictionary uh, abstract class basically okay this is a parent class uh, of the hash table and hash table is a legacy class we have which come from the c++ language now the what is the difference between the hash table and hash map so can we able to can we able to contain the can we able to contain the duplicate value over here the point over here is can we able to contain the duplicate value over here the answer is yes similar same same behavior we have even we can able to contain the duplicate value here as well you can see same 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 thing we have you can see the duplicate value also contained over here can we able to contain the duplicate key the answer is no guys duplicate key never able contain only same the overridden method is happen suppose if i am going to add over here happy you can see the overridden method same are applicable over here you can see on the seventh line number the overridden method is happening but did you notice guys what need is what what thing you need is your hash table never ever preserve the insertion order you can see you will get a you will you are getting a data in, into the descending order okay so this is what exactly i want to tell you another important point i would like to tell you hash table can be able to add the null value in a hash table only once you can see if i'm trying to add the null value can be able to add the null value uh, in, in in our hash table the clear cut answer is guys no we cannot able to add the null value only one null value also we can able to uh, we cannot able to add in a hash table hash table give you the exception which is name as a null pointer exception basically given by the hash table okay so this is the thing basically i want to tell you guys about the difference between hash table and hash map uh, which is which is very short and very concise uh, that this is the thing basically i want to tell you guys okay thanks thanks for watching this video Have a